all right in this video I want to talk about a new feature that will be available in the next version I believe it's going to be the next version of blender I know it's in beta currently all right it's called adaptive sampling now right now I have adaptive sampling turned off I have blender the BMW benchmark opened and I have a setup for CPU rendering and I have not changed anything. I'm going to go ahead and start rendering this image while I talk about adaptive sampling. Alright, my understanding, and if I'm wrong, someone please correct me. My understanding of adaptive sampling is this. Each individual pixel is given like, is given like a grade in terms of its noise. And this adaptive sampling will render up to the certain number of uh, total samples that you have set but it will cut off whenever it reaches a certain low level of noise so essentially what it does it will render up to a point when the noise gets low enough and then it will stop rendering e even if it's less than this number of samples that you set here that way it saves time now I have not done a whole lot of testing of it so I don't know exactly how well it works I have done a little bit of testing and I'm not 100% sure that I have you know let me rephrase I'm not 100% sure that I'm using it absolutely correctly but I believe I am now, of course, just to let you know, I'm using a Ryzen 9 3900X to do this uh, rendering right here. So it's not going to take real long. But, I mean, we're already up to a minute and 40 seconds and still have a little over 30 seconds left. So we'll see what this adaptive sampling does. Now, whenever you turn this adaptive sampling on, you have this noise threshold if you leave it set to zero it will use some sort of automated algorithm to adapt it and I have used that a couple times and it does make a difference but it doesn't seem like it makes a big difference alright let me go ahead and turn on adaptive sampling and I'll leave it set to zero so it's an auto see it says noise level step or uh, let me it says wow well zero for automatic setting based on number of AA samples all right I'm having trouble saying I don't have my glasses on all right now let me go ahead and change this to slot 2 if that took two minutes and two seconds now the only thing I changed right here was turned on adaptive sampling and then set it to zero or left it set at zero so it's automatic now this should be quicker, but it's not going to be a whole lot quicker. I'm guessing it's going to be in the neighborhood of 10 to 15 seconds quicker. Although it looks like it's actually going to be better than that based on how quick it appears to be going. But there, you can actually set the noise threshold and make it even quicker. The problem with setting it manually is that if you set this too high because the lower the number here the better or the less the lower the noise threshold is but if you set it too high it will allow too much noise and the basic concept of this is in an area like right here it will it doesn't need a whole lot of samples but an area where there's glass and caustics it does need a lot of samples or an area down here where there's shadows and it's dark it does need a lot of samples alright now that made a bigger difference than I thought it would make it just turning on adaptive samples it dropped it from let's see two minutes and two seconds to one minute and two seconds I can't tell the difference I'm going to zoom in get down here now this it looks a little bit noisy to me but not terribly noisy let me go to slot one yeah it you can 
barely see the difference. It's still noisy even with it adaptive sampling turned off. It's just a little bit more noisy with adaptive sampling turned on, but whenever you're not zoomed in, I can't tell the difference. That could be just my eyes because I'm old. All right, now let's try a, try to do it manually. I'm gonna put it this slot three, and I'm gonna set this to something extremely low, 0 0.005. I'm not, I don't understand what ratio this number has. I don't know. I don't know if it's a percent or what. But anyway, that's a fairly low number. I'll go ahead and render this again and we'll see what kind of uh, change it makes. Now, I can already tell it's quicker, but it's also noisier because I can actually see the noise in it now. Yeah, that's obviously too high of a noise threshold. I mean, you're talking uh, 21 seconds with a CPU, but it's still not a bad render. It's just a little bit noisy. So let me turn this down to 0 0.0001, and we'll see what that looks like. Let me change it to slot 4. Render image, and now this should take longer obviously but it should should be a little less noisy this looks like it's gonna take roughly a minute so it looks like um, whoever or however the algorithm works for the automatic threshold by basically just leaving this at zero, it works pretty good. Because this this don't look bad. It has a little bit of noise that you can just barely see. You probably can't see it in the YouTube video, but I can I can see it just a little bit, but it's it doesn't really detract from the image all that much. And there you go. It took basically the same time as it took if I set this to zero. Of course, it does have minimal sam samples. I'm assuming, like if I wanted this to render between 800 and 1225 samples, but be adaptive, I'm assuming that's what I would set that for. But anyway, I thought that was kind of interesting. Let me, just for fun, let me turn this up to 0.1. Now this is going to be ridiculously noisy, I would imagine, but it's probably going to be super, super quick. Render image. Yeah. There is nowhere in that video or in this image that it sampled at 1025. That threshold is just way too um, high in order to ever reach that high of a sample rate. But yeah, probably if you keep this to zero, because uh, realistically you can't, you can't really tell the difference between, um, if you have it set to zero, at least in this image, you can't really tell the difference between the quality with it set to zero and adaptive sampling turned on versus leaving the adaptive sampling turned off. But yet, it almost, it right at, uh, it takes about half as long to render, which in my opinion is kind of good. Uh, I don't know how well that would work for GPUs. I'm kind of curious. Let me go ahead and stop this. Um, let me change this over to GPU. And let me open up... Uh, preferences and we'll put it on CUDA at first turn adaptive sampling off and we're gonna render this image and see how long it takes of course I believe it's gonna take right around 35 seconds if I remember my benchmarks correctly allergies are getting to me today but 
great. Yeah, Blender's making a lot of changes lately and adding stuff like this that that, that it's going to be game changers. All right, it took 34 seconds with adaptive sampling turned off. Let me turn adaptive sampling on and then changes to slot 5 and click render. Now I'm assuming this is going to take be quicker. I don't know how much quicker. Because I kind of wonder if uh, the adaptive sampling uh, favors CPUs or GPUs or if it makes no difference. So far it looks like it's it doesn't really favor one over the other. Uh, it took 24 seconds and what was the other one? 34 seconds and let me zoom in see if there's any differences. Alright this is without adaptive sampling and that's with adaptive sampling. You can see a little bit of noise but you know let me try it in uh, optics. I don't know if uh, it, yeah, it works with optics apparently so let's give it a try. Let turn off. Let me go back to slot one so we don't get confused and lose track of where we're at. I'm gonna turn adaptive sampling off, click render, and of course again this is with optics. And this should take in a, around 18 seconds. I took 18, 18, a little over 18 seconds. Let me turn on adaptive sampling. Click render. Let me change over to slot two first. Now render image. It should be a second quicker, maybe. Um, I dropped down to 12 seconds. Jeez. Uh, let me zoom in and compare the two. Now keep in mind this is without any kind of denoiser also. So that's without uh, the adaptive sampling and this is with. Not much difference if anything. If It almost just looks like the seed, the noise seed or whatever they call it. Um, uh, I can't remember what, what what it's called now. But anyway, it just almost acts like that's different. Let me try something here. Let me go up here to the noise. Let me turn on the AI denoiser. And let me go back over here. Let me start back. Let me start with two because one slot one that has the this is just to remind you this right here is the uh, render with optics no denoiser no apt adaptive sampling alright let me go to slot two and this right here will be with denoiser turned on and adaptive sampling now I'm assuming it's going to take you know 12 seconds or probably 13 seconds but I just want to see how clean it looks but it will definitely take uh, a second or two longer or at least I would think it would because it does have to have go through and denoise everything that took a half a second longer let me look at the alright let me this let me switch over to the without the denoiser or an adaptive. Well, see, and now the um, one that took 12 seconds actually looks better than the one that took 18 seconds. Hmm. Now, all right, let me try it this way. Go over to slot three. Let me change this uh, noise threshold to point. O O two five, and we'll see what that looks like. Render image, and this should take about 
10 seconds. Oh, no, it took eight seconds. Um, that's clean. The render looks fine. With the, the adaptive sampling in conjunction with the AI denoiser right here with the RTX cards, because you have to, to be able to use the AI denoiser, you need the... Uh, you need RTX cards but yeah that's interesting I mean you're talking eight seconds to render that and it and that looks clean to me just for fun let me let's do this um, go back over here let me turn this up to 0 0.01 and we'll see what this looks like Render image. Four seconds. Let me zoom in. Come down here where it's going to be somewhat noisy. This right here is the adaptive sampling turned on, set to 0 0.01, and uh, with the AI denoiser turned on. Now let me uh, go back to the original for comparison. This right here is no adaptive sampling. The ad adaptive sampling is turned off and there's no denoiser. There's, there's actually more noise on this one than that one. I mean that's just crazy in my opinion I mean you're talking going from that to that and actually taking less than one-fourth the time to render yeah adaptive sampling is going to be good but anyway I thought y'all might find this interesting I guess that's it later people